some of the negative outcomes uh, have been that we really had to take a good look at what we chose to turn a blind eye to. Uh, we had to take a really, really hard look at racism and uh, economic um, prejudice and the things that happened in this city that we chose to ignore or chose to accept as normal. Some of those things have not, we've not been able to erase yet. Some of the negative things that have happened in the city is that our children were allowed to come back to chaos. And we've not smoothed that out. Some of our children came back unaccompanied and came back to systems that did not work for them. The, some of the negative outcomes that have happened for all citizens has, have, has had to do with um, a lack of really essential services in health care, especially mental health care. Um, the fact that um, right now our uh, jail system is responsible for most of the mental health confinement. Uh, we had to wait until uh, our health systems could be brought back online and in a lot of ways they have not yet been brought back online. One of the most negative things that have happened since uh, Katrina is Bobby Jindal. Bobby Jindal is the worst thing that ever happened to Louisiana and specifically to New Orleans. There are a lot of positive outcomes in our city. One is that we got a chance to really take on recrafting our own uh, forever to come. Citizens got an opportunity to be at the table in a good bit of the decision making. For example, in the early days, uh, right after the storm, when everybody had a process, everybody had an, everybody with money, that is had a, a say-so of what was going to happen. Our citizenry really took the bull by the horn and decided that, oh no, you're not going to tell me what to do with where I live. You're not going to make decisions over me. I'm going to be at the table and I'm going to say, and I'm going to ask questions until you decide. Uh, for example, in the um, early days of Bring Back New Orleans Committee or whatever that was called, uh, developers and folks with money who could wait decided, oh, we're going to green dot that and we're going to not redevelop this. And people who lived here decided, oh, no, you didn't. This is where I live. You're not going to wait with your money until later on to um, scoop up what my, what, what my family owned and what my loved one invest, invested in. There were people who had not yet become uh, the planners that they are today because they figured it was the they's and the them's that were supposed to do it, and they realized that the days and the thems were themselves. And so, uh, even so much so that there was a citizen's participation or a community participation plan that got worked out and actually put in the city's charter as a result of citizens wanting to have a say in what uh, the future of the city was about and with the decisions that were made. Neighborhoods recognized that there was organization that had to happen in order for their neighborhoods to have outcomes that were in line with what they desired. Sometimes God has to kick you in the butt in order to make you go forward. And we got kicked in the butt, but we are going forward. And there are folks that are still coming home, that are still coming home. Every week I hear about people who have been gone for now 10 years that are coming home. And it is, I get full about that because Dorothy said it, there's no place like home, no place like home. And that's very good.